it's an annual time of year again where all the teams from around the East Coast come down to test their endurance. It is our 2019 Ironman Tournament. Welcome to the RSHL. And we're doing things just a slightly bit different this year. We have three divisions, but for the C and B divisions, they will be split up into two different brackets depending on how the teams ranked. The ranks five through eight will have the lower bracket and seats one through four will have their upper bracket. So they will be on the same video, but just keep an eye out for that and I will signify when that we are on the lower or upper bracket. There is one minor change this year, and that is that in the semifinals, if there is a tie at the end of regulation, we go straight to the shootout. The finals is the exception here as they'll put a five minute overtime and then the shootout. But for those who are not familiar with the Ironman tournament, it is five runners, one goaltender, no substitutions at all. All of them will be 10 minute games. And all the teams have played around Robin and 10 minutes is all they are going to get. The icing is still in effect, but there will be no offside. So they can be anywhere on the rink, wherever they want. So with that, we'll all get straight to the action. We start off the A division with our wild card game. It is Crushers and Thunder. Uh, surprisingly, Thunder has not had a very good tournament. Freeze, 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 freeze. They are ranked number four. But things might change here. A early chance for them, but can't quite get a shot on net. Good defensive play by Pal Pelka. Centers one more time. Backhand can't get it off. Another good play by Pelka. Back of the line, over to Hooks. He'll take a long distance pass. Misses everybody. We picked up by Gino Greco, captain of the Crushers, behind the net. Picked up one more time by the Thunder. Back to the point, Reed Southern. Southern will take a shot, hits a leg and out of play. This should stay with the Thunder. Three count is up, they can move in whenever they like. And back across the line to Brian Hooks. Remember, no offside in this tournament. Off a leg, back down it goes, but it does reach a red jersey and a shot is blocked by Chris Young. So far, Thunder dominating possession early in this game. Taking a quick look. Trying to get away from the double team. Can't get around it and lift it back the other way. Back behind the net, the Thunder still trying to regroup. Brian Hooks back in his own circle. From the corner, centers, two saves by John Cowan. Both of them point blank, he had to react quickly. Barbado holding up, shot and a save by Parlanti and swatted away by Gian Greco back at the point where the Rainers trying to center Barbado, intercepted by Young. He'll send it up to Tony DiGiacomo. Along with Justin Viverito, takes a shot that is blocked, sends it across to Young. Young with a windup, and that one got tipped out of the air, never got to Cowan. Back behind the net, decides to go for her hooks, a little too hot for him to handle as he'll have to backtrack. Does get it over to Barbado. He'll send it over to Rainers on the left, but backhanded away by Gian Greco. Picked up by Reed Southern. He'll take a wrist shot. Glove saved by Parlanti. Gino Gian Greco at the line. We'll take a look over to Young over on the right end boards. We'll take a return at his own right circle. Waits with it. Now returns it back to Young. Has plenty of time to work with. He'll take a wrist shot going way wide of the net. Brian Hooks for the Thunder. Reverses over to Southern. Southern off the boards. Up over to Lee Rainer. He'll take a shot wide of the net. Back around and picked up by the Crushers. They clear out, but still can't hang on for possession. Rainers one more time. Back to Hooks. Hooks winds it up. Shot and a save 
by Parlanti. Back behind the net. Everybody battling, centers up. Can't quite look for a shot. Goes to Barbado, looking for a centering pass. And it tips off a crusher stick. That was Gian Greco's stick that it hits. Dijiakimo the other way. He'll try a long distance shot. Glove down by Hooks. Barbado again, waiting. Now crosses. Here it comes, shot and a glove save by Parlanti. He's been pretty busy in his own end. So far only two shots on net for the Crushers, but everything else, it's been thunder. Tries a center, and the whistle has blown. It must have hit uh, Parlanti, because the rule is that if, if the initial pass hits the goalie, it's blown dead and the other team automatically gets possession. Three count is done. That allows Rainers to move in. He's trying to say that he was held up, but no call from the officials. Here they come. Viverito looking, now drops it. Crosses to Pelka from the point. He'll take the shot, that's high. Young from the corner will play back. Jan Greco to Pelka. Back to Jan Greco, shot saved by Cowan. Centers one more time. Everybody looking for it. Picked up by Brian Hooks with the Thunder. Stretch pass. Break away. Here they come. And a stick goes flying. Pelka trying to get back into play. He does prevent the chance. But here it comes. Pan Barbado with a backhand. That is wide. Back to the holder. Shot and a save by Parlanti. And they just prevented a big chance. Countdown starts. Back over to Orcs at the center line. Trying to look for a tip in, none available. Come on, fly, come on, fly. As Rainers takes a look, goes back to Barbado. Barbado still looking, switch places with Rainers. He'll try to drop to Rainers, picked up by Pelka. Young with possession. Three on two the other way. Looking at one, tries to stretch it over to Viverito, but knocked away by, hook, by Hooks. Did Giacomo on the left corner. Gets a poke check from Hooks. Goes back to the point, picked up by Blake Holler. Holler, the shot that is wide of the net. And Parlanti trying to direct traffic as Gian Greco picks up behind his own net. Young crosses over to the other circle to Pelka. The 3.45 remaining, we are still looking for our first goal. Dan Greco centers to Tichiakimo, that's blocked. Young trying to set up a rebound chance. Decides to cross over. Tichiakimo drops to Pelka, back to Young. At the center line, shot and it's blocked by Hooks. Here is Barbado the other way, off a stick. Dan Greco keeps it in, but it will be dropped off over to Brian Hooks. Behind the net one more time for Reed Southern. Southern still waiting. One yellow jersey on pursuit. We'll cross over to Brian Hooks again at the opposite circle across the Barbado. With about three minutes remaining in this game. Winner moves on to face the number one seed. Reed Southern trying to keep the attack alive. Tries to get around Giacomo and stolen away. Here comes Viverito. Shot saved by Cowan. Trying to hold on. And they're going to say no goal. They are going to say no goal. Viverina was sure that he put that in, but they wave it off. So they are going to... Oh, it's going to be a penalty shot. So the free shot going to the Thunder, and it's Reed Southern to take it, walks up in the left circle, holds up, and it would have been backwards anyway. He does not get a chance. He made a backwards motion anyway, so it would not have counted. Tries to center, went off the foot of Barbado. Viverito waiting, and now crosses back to Pelka behind the center line, Gian Greco. Waiting, now takes a long distance shot off the banner. He scores! Crushers, the number five seed, strike first. 
with 140 remaining in this game. Off the stick of Gian Greco. Will be sent right back in. Hooks trying to go to Reese Southern. Looking out for DiGiacomo. Here is Rainers one more time. Back to Haller. He'll try to take a shot. Not even going to get close to Parlanti. Tries to pick it up himself. Stolen by Young and a three on one the other way. Hooks the lone defender. Young will take the shot. That's wide. Viverito along the boards as we approach a minute remaining. We'll see what the Thunder does. There is no substitute, so they cannot pull Cowan. It's going to be all up to them. Off the body to a wide open. Young goes to the slot. He scores! 2 nothing. Crushers. And they are seconds away from an upset. Barbado tries to stretch pass. Southern switches places, crosses. They got to attack quickly, but it's going to be Viverito. He'll just kill time. The Crushers are now going to be looking to reach the number one seed as their next opponent. 15 seconds remaining to Crushers. Unless we get a last second score, he does! But do they even have enough time? I don't think they do. They got to set up quickly. Five seconds remaining. They won't get it, and the Thunder are eliminated. An upset victory from the Crushers. Number five seed moves on to the next round. This just wasn't, this wasn't the tournament to be for the Thunder, who has had success in the past, but they'll have to set up for the next tourney. But the, for now, the Crushers head over to face their next opponent. We'll be back with our two versus three matchup. It is now time for the two versus three game. It is Beach Brews and Marsh Hounds. And Marsh Hounds, we've seen quite a lot in past tournaments. They are the champions of the summer shootout. Uh, Beach Brews are a new team uh, joining in, coming from Riceville Beach. Now, there was a news story that came out in um, just last week during the Super Bowl. They had made a special kind of beer called Pass Interferes, which included um, a new, new England ale and, and some oranges from California. That's not that I'd like to try, but in the meantime, we got a game here, and the Beach Brews are gonna go ahead on the attack. Trying to dig around one, drop pass, drop pass again, intercepted. Up it goes. Gets around on the boards. He's gonna go right. Shot save! Crucial save by Brad McKeever in the goal for Beach Brews. So Marsh Hounds reset again. We'll go across to Brandon Morgan. Try to go for a return. It's intercepted. Beach Brews on a one on two. Gets around one. Got a chance. Shot. Still loose. It is swatted out. That one was rolling towards the line. And the Marsh Hounds just dodged a big bullet there. Along the boards with Brandon Morgan. Will be hopped out into the corner for Marsh Hounds. We'll go around the boards aiming for Patrick Luckenbach. Luckenbach waiting at the circle and now will send upwards to the right. Still waiting. Goes for a long distance shot that is saved. Donnie Williams trying to break one more time into the pad of Brad McKeever. And official Kevin Frost says they were not ready, so they're going to make him do it again. Back goes along the boards to Patrick Lokenbach. Turned it over. Here they come the other way, making it a partial two-on-one. 
Will backtrack at the circle, takes the wrist shot, that is blocked. Waiting at the left line, trying to get around one, does. Finds Lukenbach at the slot. Brandon Morgan with a shot and a save by McKeever. Around the boards one more time. Beast Brews being led by a... <laughs> Straight at me, huh? <laughs> I'm trying to get... <laughs> trying to get him credit. I was about to say his name for the first time and he ends up shooting at me. Shot and a save by McKeever. <laughs> I can't help but laugh at that. <laughs> but it goes into McKeever, he'll hold on as we approach six and a half remaining in this game. Marshalls has had a lot of possession time. Tries to center up, but it'll head back to Morgan. Outside the slot, knocked back in by his son Milliken. For the as I was about to say, the Beast Brew is being led by Drake Crittenden. Goal will go left over to Zach Mills, leader of the Marshall Centers. Tried to get a connection for Donnie Williams out of his reach. Back to the point. Milliken over to Morgan with a shot going wide. Beast Brews will pick it up one more time. They haven't had a shot on net yet. The goaltender for the Marshalls is Justin Wheeler, and he has just been having a vacation in the back as that shot goes off the banner. Patrick Lukenbach trying to look for some help. Intercepted. Beach Bruce try to go one more time on the attack. They still can't get out. He did complete the stretch pass, and it just was too hot. Backtracking is Zach Mills. And playing with fire there as a four checker on the attack. Turnaround shot from Donnie Williams goes wide. Lukenbach, he gets stripped. Here's the other way. Two on three. Stolen once again by Scott Milliken. Holds up in a shot, and that is blocked. Mills one more time, waiting. Now goes left as Donnie Williams was trying to drive the net, and now they're fighting for possession, and Beach Brews come up with it. Now, one of the members of Beach Brews you may be familiar with in the uh, summer shootout, Johnny Barbridge, who was with the Storm, the number three CA team during that tournament. Here's a shot going high. This out of the reach of McKeever. And that, some... Uh, Aggressiveness and leadership that this Beach Brews team are piece right now. We're halfway through and f they finally get a shot on net. Marshalls go right back to work though. Centers up again. They'll backtrack again. Zach Mills tries to receive a pass just out of his reach. Mills does get it. Shot one timer safe. Still loose ball and Beach Brews has it. Stretch pass, trying to look for some help. And Brandon Morgan, not making it easy for them. A poke check gives possession back to the Marshhounds. Mills again will drop pass it. Swatted it out of the air, look out, here they come. Three on one, to the outside, open net, shot! Where is it, behind the net? Centers one more time, shot! <laughs> Tony Williams with the goal. And they finally break through after six and a half minutes of hard work. Stolen again. He's going to try again, but he tried to pass right. And that ended up a disaster. Here they come the other way. Shot going high. Zach Mills. Trying to stretch pass. Gets to him. Backhand save by McKeever. Three minutes remaining. Beach Brews have got to get their attack going. They've been in their own end almost all game. Milliken holding on. Winner moves on to the final round. It will face either the Crushers or Rain City. And that one is sent all the way down. Beach Brews will have to reset. 
Two and a half remaining in this game. Beach Bruce down by one. Stretch pass intended for one, does get another. Drop pass. Gets it on the backhand, centers up, can't get to him. Centers one more time, winds up, shot that is blocked. The rest of the Beach Bruce team, including the Thompson brothers, Connor and Corey, look out, here they come the other way. From outside the slot, shot from Williams goes wide. Another one to the outside of the net. Less than two remaining. Still having trouble getting out. Centers again, and a one-timer is saved by McKeever. Still can't get through. This has been frustrating for the Beach Bruce. And now he's a shot. He scores! This should be credited to Zach Mills. It went off the post. They had a rebound, but I think it'll be credited to him. So now two nothing for the Marshhounds. Going around the boards, Wheeler has been pretty much having an easy game today. Bouncing around. The forecheck has been dominant from the Marshhounds. Stretch pass one more time, reaches Donnie Williams. He has one of the two goals, trying to deke around, unable. Stretches again, poke check, way too late and probably not a good time to attempt a shot. Less than a minute remaining, Beach Brews are now in desperation mode. Drop pass, tries a shot going wide. They go on the board, they're fighting for it. Who's got this one? Beach Brews does, but that one goes wide. And fight for along the boards. They gotta get something going. They don't have much time left. Shot off the banner. Tries one more time. Knocked away by Milliken. Back it goes. Shot saved by Wheeler. One more time as it'll head into the corner. It doesn't look like there's gonna be enough time for the Beach Bruce to get back in this game with only 15 seconds left. Marshhounds are going to advance to the final round to face either Crushers or Rain City as they're, they're going to try at least get one on the board to break the shutout, but it will not happen. Marshhounds get a 2-0 win over Beach Brews. Just a dominant game. It may not show on the scoreboard, but they had a lot of possession time. Just a dominant four check. So they will move on to play for the A division. We'll be back with our one versus five game. A huge task ahead for the Crushers up against number one seed Rain City, which includes Ryan Reich, Ryan Lindley, and former if you have been around the RSHL enough to know the Deeks, Corey McIntyre is back. And he'll play off the boards over to Mike Rich. So they have a very strong offensive lineup. They have Mark Komoshi on the back end as goaltender. Pocek goes to Ryan Reich. Coming fresh off a championship run with the Reapers. Taking a look at Paul Pelka going back to Gino Giangreco. Giangreco going left to Chris Young. Crushers coming in as the number five seed. And it has been shown it is entirely possible for the lowest seed to go all the way to the final rounds, as shown in the summer shootout with the Wolverines in our B division at that tournament. Young. Off the boards, passes up to Justin Biverito. Biverito trying to go for the slot. Focusing on protecting the ball, goes over to Young on the right circle. Shot in an easy stick save for Komoshi. Pelka at the point. And went off the foot of official Kevin Frost. And that's a big break for Rain City because here comes Lindley. Drop pass while he changed his mind. Through everyone. Off guard, drop pass. It's a shot wide of the net. And Parlanti was not really that sure on that shot. He didn't even move and he probably didn't expect the shot. 
There was a lot of traffic out front. In fact, there's quite a bit of traffic between the ball and the goaltender. Taking a few takes, Reich will drop it over to Lindley. Try to hold on, but he lost possession. Back to Pelka in his own corner. He'll dump it around, intending for Gian Greco. He's gonna to have to race this one down. Does get away, but almost turned it over to Rich. Here's McIntyre, shot in a block. Viverina lifts it out, and a partial break. Chance here, shot just a little wide. Digging in, still loose ball, saved by Kamoshi. A partial break for the Crushers. It didn't look like it was all that clean, but Kamoshi comes up big. Viverina with a shot, got tipped wide into the corner. Waiting, and they're fighting for it along the bench. The empty bench, since we have no subs in this tournament. Around the board, trying to look for someone. Reichel will go up to Lindley, but stolen by Pelka from the left circle. Dragging along the ground is Reich. A lot of white jerseys by the net. They are playing very conservative. It's a shot and a save by Kamoshi. He looks for it and covers. The three count is up. They can move in if they want. With a stick lift is Young. It tried to center up for Viverito, but turns it over to Reich. Through center, intended that pass for Mike Rich. Sent back in by Jan Greco. Pelka on the left end boards. Winds up thinking about a shot. Tries to pass. That's blocked by Reich. They fight for it through the slot and through the crease into the opposite corner. Giacomo. We'll take a draw pass. Young tries to pass across, and it was intercepted. Here comes Lindley the other way. Shoved off the ball. He could not get a shot off. Now thinking about going on the other side. On pursuit is Chris Young. He'll reverse. Centers for Ridge. He whiffs it, and it turns into a one-on-one. Giacomo with a shot. That's a save by Kamoshi. McIntyre comes loose, and Rich. Has to clean up the garbage by the net. Here's another shot going high. Back to Giacomo. Centers, and that one just off the outside the post. Look out, and it's loose. Out in front was Viverito trying to knock it home. But just whiffed it, and a penalty is coming up. We'll see who it's against, and it looks like it's going to go against the Crushers. In the meantime, a free chance for the... For Rain City, and Parlanti is wondering why they haven't blown the whistle. But in the meantime, play continues on a delayed penalty. Back to Rich, Reich, outside the circle. Feeds to the slot, tries to turn around shot, and instead gives it up to Lindley. They're still taking advantage of the delayed penalty. Rich. Attempts a shot, look out! And covered up by Greg Parlanti at the last second, but he'll have to face a penalty shot. And did Giacomo disagree with the call? He, it was slashing, and it's a free shot. And who is taking this shot? It is Ryan Reich. Or, oh, oh no, they're gonna. Is it gonna be Reich or Rich? It's gonna be Mike Rich. Rich with a shot saved by Parlanti. And the official has just called another penalty shot. And I believe this is for unsportsmanlike conduct. Someone has said one word too many. Someone kept speaking to the official about that call, and it is going to cost the Crushers. They're still trying to decide who is taking the shot. The clock is still running. They're going to they're going to give it to Ryan Reich. 
So let's see if Perlanti can stop two shots. Holding. What a save by Greg Perlanti! Diving across and keeping it scoreless! The play was practically at a dead stop. And Parlanti bails out his team. Chris Young on the attack. Turnaround shot and that's saved by Kamoshi. Stretch pass, misses him. Dan Greco crosses back to Pelka. Less than three remaining. Dichi Akimo takes the shot off the post. Ryan Reich back the other way for Rain City. Over to Lindley. Two on two, partial. And diving out is Greg Perlanti. Seeing a strong attack by Rain City. is not taking any chances. They try to feed to this fly. Went off a six. The play will continue. Trying to clear out. Unable. Rich keeps it in. Back to Reich. Unable to hold on. McIntyre trying to help him out. It is cleared back down. And they now call an ice. And Komoshi just heard the call at the last second. And Ryan Reich will take it himself. And trying a one-timer and whiff the shot. Less than two remaining. The Crusher is trying to just trying to survive. They will lift it out as Komoshi will just drop it off to McIntyre. McIntyre up to Reich, pops his stick. Back to Giacomo, and that one just way wide trying to drive around the boards. Look down, and that shot goes high. Open man in the slot, and just had a little too much torque in it. There's another chance going wide of the net from Viverito. Right circle. Point blank, two shots. One was a save, the other goes high. As we approach one minute remaining, and Lindley trying to get something on the scoreboard before we go to the shootout. That is one of the rule changes we have this year, is that with the exception of the final, if we are tied, we go straight to a shootout. And Giacomo trying to decide. He'll take the shot. That's wide. Brian Reich back to Rich. Rich off his foot. Looking out for Giacomo. Left to McIntyre. Stretch pass. Brian Reich from the circle. Center score! Mitch Stevens with a last second goal and covered up. They're going to have to act quickly to keep this game going. Ten seconds left. Trying to set her up one more time. Trying to get it out of the air. Slotting a few times. And get it now. They won't. And Rain City with the goal from Mitch Stevens puts him in the final with the Marsh Hounds. Hard at work they were, back and forth. It was a great effort by the Crushers, but ultimately fall to the number one seed. It will be Rain City against the Marsh Hounds in our final in the A Division. We'll be back with the final round. Set for the A Division Final, Rain City against Marsh Hounds. Under away we go. Ryan Reich for Rain City, who drops over to McIntyre. Back to Reich, right boards, just in front of the circle. Now he'll try to drive to the corner. And it's forced to give it up. As the Marsh Hounds send it back around the boards, trying to look for some. Uh, offense, they will, over everybody's head. Into the corner, around it goes one more time. 
Taken up by Brian Lindley in his own corner. Stretch pass intercepted. Milliken to his right. Shot going wide. Brandon Morgan around one more time. Luckenbach trying to go back over to Milliken. Looking for some help. Now goes to Zach Mills at the circle. Poke checked away by Reich. Here they come. Mitch Stevens. He had the game winner in the semi. To the right corner. They fight for it. Going down. No penalty called. And the Marsh Hounds reset again. Stretch pass to Luckenbach. Along with Donnie Williams. Poke checked away. Back to Brian Lindley. His own circle knocked down by Zach Mills. Mills waits, rearranges. Now will try to drive the slot. Shot in a glove save by Kamoshi. And knocked away over to Brian Lindley for Rain City. Knocked back again to the center line. Back and forth they go. Marsh Hounds back with control. Zach Mills tried to drop pass, gave it away to Mike Rich. He'll dump it down. Wheeler was looking for a, an, an icing call. He does not get it. Billiken. Will trot it up on the left side. One attacker ahead. We'll give it off to Donnie Williams. I'll cross his back. Looking back. Waiting with it. Oh, I'm sorry, that is Zach Mills with it. Hell's shot! Score! <laughs> With the goal in the Marsh House of a 1 0 lead. Off the boards. Sorry, that is, looks like that is looking back. Back to the point. And look out here, they come. Milliken has to give it up. Mills from the circle shot. Didn't get all of it, goes into the opposite corner. Mills one more time. Off the boards. We'll drop it back. Morgan waiting, now will pass out to Mills. Working this cycle, now tries to set her up to Milliken. As you notice that everyone is moving around. Here's a shot, score! Milliken! Milliken has been playing on the defensive side. Plays the cycle and scores 2-0 Marshhounds. And McIntyre took his time, but does gain possession over to Reich. Lisa for Lindley on a bad angle. He'll take the shot. Shoulder save by Wheeler. Pops out in the corner between Lindley and Mills. It looks like Mills has it. If he can escape from double team, he does. will push it to the opposite corner. Corey McIntyre. Oh, try a stretch pass. Does find one shot save and had an open net, but driven away. Here's another shot from Lindley and driven out. Here's a shot and a save. Got the rebound chance. Score! Looking back with the goal and. It will be a stretch pass on a 3 0 lead for the Marsh Hounds. Milliken, one more time, stretch pass. Luckenbach. Along with Williams. Stretches it. Shot saved by Kamoshi. Another chance covered. Spotty scores! That's two for the game. 4 0 Marsh Hounds. Around it goes to. Lindley, they got a big hill to climb now. Right, taken down, no call from anybody. And it is a breakaway from Mills. Shot, score! Five, nothing, Marsh Hounds. Zach Mills gets his first. So four of the five Marsh Hounds have gotten a goal on the board. As Mills will try again, slight curve just to the outside. Morgan goes up close for Luckenbach looking for the hat trick. 
Back to Morgan. Going with two forwards down deep, and now we'll give it up. Good looking, Bach and Williams. And now here comes Reich the other way. Stretch pass. Rich for the shot. That's blocked by Donnie Williams. And Donnie will play it around. Stretches to Lookenbach. Brandon Morgan will cross over. Mills waiting with it. Tried to get around McIntyre. Unable. He pokes it out. Again, a big hill to climb. They got to get five goals in less than four minutes. And now here's Mills with a chance to go save by Kamoshi. And intercepted by Wright. They've got to work fast to get back in this game. Maybe a chance for Lindley. Shot going wide. Milliken tries to poke it up. Unable. Back it goes over to Lindley. Shot saved by Wheeler. Tries to get it out. Unable. Back over to Wright at the point. They've got to get a flurry of shots now if they have any chance of getting back in this game. Here's Rich. Shot going wide. Will be picked up. And sent around. McIntyre on the four check, trying to keep the play alive. Back to Lookenbach. They'll just push it back down the floor. Kamoshi comes out to play and will drop it for Lindley. Less than three remaining. And hope is fading away for Rain City. Coming in as the number, number one seed. And now Lookenbach looking for the trick. Centers. Great save. Rehouse score. <laughs> Nothing, Marsh Hounds. And a three on two, something for Rain City. Back to Rich, shot just wide. Trying to center one more time. Lindley with a shot, saved by Wheeler. He goes down and he covers. With about two minutes remaining, it's looking like the Marsh Hounds are not only going to claim the Summer Shootout Championship, but also Iron Man. If you recall the last, the, the first time that we saw the Marsh Hounds in the, I believe it was in one of the higher divisions, if I recall correctly, they had finished last in that tournament, but they have become a force to reckon with coming all the way from Virginia. And now only less than two minutes away from claiming a title and now looking for the trick centers. Great save of the blocker from Kamoshi. Centers one more time. Can't get it off. Blocked by Lindley. And intercepted again. This time by Brandon Morgan. Back to Mills. He and Luckenbach have two for the game. Back it goes. Morgan. He's the only one who has not scored. Back across. Intercepted by Lindley. And again, nothing seems to be working out for Rain City as Mike Rich will take it less than a minute remaining. The Marsh Hounds are going to be claiming the A division in dominant fashion. Six on the board, four of the five runners put a goal to their stat sheet. And we'll have the MVP a little later after this game. But for now, this is just all academical now. Back to McIntyre. Trying to get a shot on. He misses wide. Another chance for Mitch Stevens. Whips it as they'll play around the board. Kept in play. And down the floor. And Kamoshi is just on his knees. Hey, what's Kamoshi doing? It's like he's pretty much given up on the game. 10 seconds left. It looks like the Marsh Hounds are not even going to attempt a shot. They're going to let the clock run out and claim the A Division title of the Iron Man Tournament. They claim in dominant fashion, and they once again do it as the number two seed. What a way to finish this tournament. Letting everyone in the RSHL know that they are a force to reckon with.
But they are going to head over to the, the scoreboard. They will have the photo and we'll find out who the MVP is. MVP, we'll find out in just a moment. I got a feeling I know who it's going to be. Thank you very much. As they give out the reward of first place. And who are they going to give MVP to? I believe they gave it to Patrick Luckenbach, who has two for the final. And the Marshalls leave in dominant fashion in the A division. So that will do it here. We still got two divisions to work with, but the Marshalls head back to Virginia victorious. Till then, we'll see you next time around. If you enjoyed this game, be sure to check out the other games here on our YouTube channel at Rally Street Hockey. Also be sure to check out our sponsors at allblackhockeysticks.com. You can get an all black stick for just under $100. Not a bad deal. Also be sure to check out our other sponsor, Hagen Hockey, which has some great hockey equipment for you. In order to get free shipping, just use the promo code Raleigh Street Hockey.